Hi guys and thank you for tuning in. Today I want to talk about oil paint on a budget. And I think this is an important topic because most of young artists or just artists that just started to learn how to paint wouldn't buy expensive oil paint right away. They would normally just start with cheap oil paint and try to practice with that with this. But let me tell you, I've never, I've actually never painted with cheap oil paint in my whole life because I was very lucky that my boyfriend who taught me already had like a collection of oil paint and I could just use his paints and so I never really tried out the cheap oil paint. Only once I just bought one oil paint that was on discount and I tried it out and like the difference was <laughs> incredible. I couldn't paint with this cheap oil paint at all. It was not possible. So when I think it is super important that you start directly with good oil paint because all the technique that I explain in my tutorial videos and also all the techniques that professional artists use are working with good oil paint. It isn't guaranteed that with oil paints that are cheap that these technique, techniques would work. So when you have cheaper oil paint, for example, like studio oil paint that is even that is also sold in art supply stores, this, these brands don't have an, a high pigmentation of the oil paint. The result is that even if you put like masses of oil paint on your canvas, you just don't see a difference or when you try to mix the color, the result is gray. So how would you learn to mix colors properly if all your colors turned gray in the end? And having good oil paint don't just make your painting look more vibrant and just better you also learn how to use it properly and you don't need to use as much. So when your oil paint don't have a high pigmentation, like if you use like studio brands or just like the cheapest version of uh, one brand, the pigmentation is very low and you have to use so much oil paint to just get an effect on your canvas. So if you invest in more expensive oil paints, you just have more of your of the color. This isn't true for all color tones that you can buy. Some are not very, some don't last very long, even if the price is high. So this is why I made this tutorial. And I just want to give you an idea of how a starter kit could look like for someone who is on a budget, but still wants to paint with good oil paint and wants to get the best results possible. So before I begin with that, um, these are just my ideas for like the first six colors that you need. It is based on what I would do and also based on my color preferences. So depending on how, what colors you like, this could vary. So my preference are that I need violets and I need pinks and I'm not much of a person that likes super brownish tones. So most of the time when you buy starter sets, they are like four brown tones. I hate brown. I don't want to paint brown. <laughs> okay, not totally true, but my paintings, they, even though there are browns in them, it's not like the majority of colors is brown in. And if you buy those student sets, you have like burnt sienna, ochre, and like two or three other brown tones, which you don't really need from. You can mix brown basically <laughs> If you just mix all your colors together, then you have a brown. So it's not really needed that you buy extra brown tones. So my palette is a combination or a set of colors that should be capable to make the most of the six colors. It is not like the only combination. Um, it is not like the best combination probably. So <laughs> don't <laughs> blame me if it doesn't work perfectly like you imagined um, maybe it it's not your color preference so, so that could be like the reason why you wouldn't be super satisfied with it or you just if you don't like buy the exact brands then i can't guarantee that they are as high pigmented as those colors that i um 
recommend today. And the oil painting you see in the background is called On Rio and she is for the upcoming show Bad Girls and Outcast in Cactus Gallery in Los Angeles in April. And there is a kinda creepy story behind the character I portrait in this painting. So I will talk about that in the second part of this video. In this video you see only the first part of the painting process. I will have part number two um, coming up in the next few days. So and like I said before I want to dedicate this video to oil paint on a budget. And let's start now. So the first and foremost two colors are of course a black and a white. These are super important. So the white is probably most important and you could probably go without a black when you don't like to use blacks in your painting. So it's not super necessary, but I would definitely recommend to have a black. And I use titanium white and ivory black. I only use two brands for this collection and this is Schminke Norma Professional and Rembrandt. So the third color is like it's ultramarine blue light from Schminke Norma Professional. This is a blue tone which goes perfectly with the violet pink tone and from which you can also mix yellow green tones all green tones you need probably. This is like my favorite blue tone and it is really great for mixing purples. So if you are a person who loves purple and pink, ultramarine blue light is your blue for purple tones. The fourth is lemon yellow. This is extremely important because lemon yellow is a cool yellow tone. Don't make the mistake and buy cadmium yellow because cadmium yellow is a warm yellow tone and you can mix a warm yellow tone easily by taking something of the lemon yellow and a little bit red and then you have your warm yellow tone so you just just uh, the warm yellow is just a cool yellow and processed so you don't need warm yellow tones the thing is when you have like a lot of colors it, it just saves mixing time. So I use over 20 colors in my palette but I don't really need all of them. It just saves me time for mixing. But if I were on a budget then lemon yellow is super important because not only can you get a warm yellow out of it, you can also get every, all greens out of this cool tone. So. The only green that isn't possible with this palette is like a vibrant turquoise. Like you get a turquoise kind of color by mixing the ultramarine blue light with the lemon yellow, but it's not like perfectly turquoise. So if you really are a turquoise person, I would suggest you need Prussian blue because Prussian blue is goes more in the turquoise direction but it isn't that great for mixing purples so you can either have like the purple color palette that goes with the ultramarine blue light or when you prefer more to get in the turquoise direction then you would have to buy Prussian blue and the brand the best brand for this is Rembrandt which is very expensive and the ultramarine blue light is also great from Schminken, Schminke Norma Professional. So the fifth color in this palette is cadmium red light and cadmium red light is an orange tone and it is extremely high pigmented. So if you buy one tube, it will probably last several several years because this is only for tinting colors. So if you want in my complete palette, you don't have a red tone. So this cadmium red light is only for getting red out of the violet that I will talk about soon and for getting browns as well. When you mix it with the ultramarine blue light you would get a brown tone. And the cadmium red light in addition is very opaque. So I forgot to tell you that the ultramarine blue light is a transparent color. So it hasn't, it doesn't have a body. When you place the color on your canvas, it is more or less transparent. The titan titanium white, the ivory black 
and the lemon yellow are pretty opaque. I would say the lemon yellow is a bit transparent but most it's mostly pretty opaque and the cadmium red light is super opaque it is super high pigmented it is super opaque when you place it on the canvas you will it's just it's super vibrant and it will mix it is very dominant so when you mix it with other, with other colors you only need really only a little bit of the cadmium red light so and the last sixth color of this palette is from Rembrandt this is the other brand and this is one of my most important colors and this is permanent wet violet this is a very very beautiful pink rose tone and this color is super important because you can get purple out of it, it is pink, and you or you can get a red out of it. So if you want to get a red out of it, you have to mix it with the cadmium red light and then you have a beautiful red. And this red is even opaque because when you mix, mix the permanent red violet with the cadmium red light, it gets the body of the cadmium red light. Because the cadmium is, like I said before, like super opaque, the permanent red, red violet is more translucent but together they are pretty opaque when you mix them and when you if you want to have a purple you can just mix the permanent red violet with the ultramarine blue light and then you have a beautiful purple so and you basically get a lot of colors out of this palette i have all the color names down in the description and also which colors you have to mixed together to get the result I talked about because I think this is pretty difficult to understand and initially I wanted to make really a color mixing guide where you can see how I mix colors but those kind of videos are more labor intensive for me to do and because my schedule is very tight like all the time it's very tight <laughs> because I have to paint so much making an additional video just takes more time than using one of my time-lapse videos which don't take extra time because I'm painting anyway and then I can talk over it so I can just get the most out of my time as possible and I hope it helps you nevertheless even though I don't have like an actual video showing how I mix colors. So maybe that come in future, I will not rule that, that out but at the moment I am very busy with painting and so I I'm pretty limited and I can probably just do voiceovers. <laughs> I hope that will change though because I really love to make those videos where I'm just in front of the camera and camera will tell you something and this is very fun to do for me. And now to the price. So this whole set of course the price will vary depending on where you are and where you buy it. But like all the Schminke colors are about $40 and the one altogether and the one Rem Rembrandt color is the most expensive of them and it is an additional $15. So I think this is a very good set to start, especially because all those colors are professional quality. It is not like a student set where you have 20 colors and all of them are mostly crap and you don't use them. So these six colors are like the essence of my palette, like the most important colors of my complete palette and like the most necessary of them. And when you want to start maybe with one color a month and then the next month you buy another color, I would totally um, say you go, if you like purple as much as I do and blue tones as much as I do as well, just buy the permanent violet, permanent red violet and the ultramarine blue light and make some beautiful monochrome images with them. I know an artist, her name is Sid B. She's from Seattle and she paints beautiful purplish paintings and they are almost monochrome and they are so beautiful. So I will have her linked in the description as well so that you can just get an impression and if you don't know what I mean, how monochromatic paintings look like. It's not completely monochromatic, so she has like greens and brown in there too, but most of the time it's like blue and purple. So it's totally possible to make beautiful images just out of two colors. Because I don't like brown, I wouldn't just make a brown image because it's just, I don't like that. <laughs> so this would be the first two colors. And then, okay, you don't have white, so you will probably have to buy white too. So white, 
permanent red violet and ultramarine blue light and then you can just buy the other one in which order you like so there's no no rule which color is more important if you want to have greens you can uh, buy the lemon yellow because of out of that you get all the greens you will need so and for my german or european viewers the all these colors can be purchased through the Bösner online store and I hope that for the USA viewers and all the other viewers from around the world there's a possibility to purchase these colors as well because I really like them and so I can only talk about these colors I don't have experience with other brands that much the only thing is that what you also need beside, besides of the paint is your paint thinner and I absolutely recommend to get Gamsel for it because Gamsel is the best paint thinner that I've ever used. It has really no smell. I used Sandodor from Windsor and Newton which has which is odorless or wants to be odorless but it isn't really odorless. It's you have really ventilate your space a lot to get the smell out. And I recently changed to Gamsel and Gamsel is for cleaning your brushes and also change the consistency of your oil paint. So don't just use pure oil paint on your canvas. You have to mix it with a little bit of the oil paint thinner to make your oil paint more fluid or more thin, of course. And the other thing that I use, but this is optional, is oil paint medium. And I use Lequeen Original from Rinser and Newton. And I really love it. This is also to change the consistency of your oil paint and also to, to get translucent layers. So if you want to work in layers, like in thin layers, not like the normal layers, but in thin layers and you want to have transparent coats over your oil paint, you definitely need a oil paint medium. And the Lequeen oil paint medium is also very practical because it reduces the drying time of your oil paint. In my video where I talk about how to paint an oil painting in two days, I used a lot of Lequeen, which just made my oil paint dry in two days, which was really great. So sometimes you only have to wait one day, but normally to be sure two days is perfect when you use Lequeen. So these were my six colors for a starter palette. But I would also recommend to get another color, which is ochre, yellow ochre from Schminke or from Rembrandt. And this just saves mixing time. This is a very essential color for your skin tones. So you can definitely make all the skin tones or almost all the skin tones out of the palette. And I tried it out. So today when I painted, after I did this video and I talked about all the colors, I actually tried the palette out and I can go without ochre, but it just saves time. So. The fewer colors you have, the more you have to mix. And some colors can't be mixed at all, obviously. So I would definitely recommend if you have, maybe if you finish this palette and want to just start to buy the next one, get yellow ochre. And then the next would be burnt sienna, which is a deep brown tone. As I said, you get a brown by mixing all the colors together. So um, I mixed today a brown tone because I wanted to test the palette out. I used ultramarine permanent red violet, black, the yellow and the cadmium red light. Of course, not in equal parts. Some paints are stronger than other, but I got a brown tone out of it. So, and when you add white to it, you get a variation of skin tones out of it. So it is totally possible, but it is easier when you get yellow ochre and also burnt sienna. Just that would be like my recommendation when you want to enhance the palette and get the next colors. So I hope you liked this video and it was helpful for you. And I hope it wasn't too confusing. I'm so sorry that I can't make you an actual mixing guide at the moment, but I hope it was a bit helpful. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and 
If you'd like to see more painting tutorials like this one, but with a voiceover where I talk about my technique in detail and how I paint certain things step by step, visit my Patreon page and pledge the $5 reward here. I am doing almost like one exclusive painting tutorial every week. And before I do that, I, I oftentimes ask my patrons what they want to know about the painting. And I try to answer every question and try to explain my technique so that everyone can learn as much from me as possible. And I actually um, saw the first results of my tutorials. Some of my patrons already applied my technique and I am so proud. And it really, it's really great how they just develop their skills. And I'm so grateful that I am part of that. So, oh, and you can also download the videos and keep them forever. So all my previous videos are available and just for $5 you get them all and a new painting tutorial almost every week. So I think it's a great deal for everyone who is on a budget and don't want to pay like $500 for art lessons. So I hope you are super inspired for your next oil paintings or for every art that you do. And I hope I see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.